Hey there everybody, I'm so glad that you decided to tune in today to the midweek devotion for this Wednesday as we wrap up our final devotion here from the Rise Up Bible and the 2015 ELCA National Youth Gathering in Detroit. Today we have a fun story, one of my favorite stories from the Gospel, talking about Jesus feeding a bunch of people. So stay tuned to center yourselves for the rest of your week. So here we go! All right, friends, so today, like I said, is a story about Jesus feeding a bunch of people, and that, in fact, being the feeding of the 5,000. And this story comes from Mark chapter 6, verses 30 through 44. So I'm going to read this passage, but while I do that, I want you to be thinking of a few things. I don't want you to be thinking about the phrases, the words, the places, the people, the things that are said. <clears throat> and I want you to think about what it is that sticks to you in this story, as I go through and read it. So think about those things that really pop for you as I read this story. So here we go. We're going to read The Feeding of the 5,000. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told them all that they had done and had taught. And he said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in a boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried on foot to where the towns are and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now very late. Send them away so that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy something for themselves to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. They said to him, Are you going to tell us that we are to go buy 200 denarii worth of bread so that we could give it to them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. When they had found out, they said, Five, and two small fish. Then he ordered them to get all the people to sit down in the groups and on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. Taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed them and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to set before people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And all ate and all were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish. Those who had eaten the loaves were numbered in five thousand men. So that is the crazy miracle story that we have for today. And before we dive into any kind of discussion, our, actually these are the discussion questions, but before we get into our discussion, I want to ask you some of these questions that the Bible has for us. And it is, what phrases or words or images were you drawn to? How I asked you to think about the images. So what really stuck out in your brain? And what can you bring to your community that you may have learned from this story? And we're going to get more into that question. And now I'm going to quick read through this, the think about it section here for this um, particular passage. And it is, Today we heard about how Jesus was able to feed 5,000 with just five loaves and two fish. With quantity enough to feed only a few, Jesus performs this miracle. Here Jesus meets earthly needs by feeding the crowds and continues now to offer himself as a holy meal. Trusting that our daily bread and even our lives are in God's hands isn't easy, especially as we grow older and have more responsibility. God has compassion for every member of the crowd, and we are blessed and invited to be a part of that generosity. So, friends, I ask you, how do you think that Jesus did this? How do you think he was able to feed 5,000 men? Not accounting for the rest of the people, so that's even more. There's just men. you got to think of like the fact that there are children and women among this crowd, too. How do you think that he fed 5,000 plus people with five loaves and two fish. Well, when we had this story, kind of a similar variation early on in the devotion, right at the beginning of the pandemic, <clears throat> I talked about how 
Take the room that you're in right now, wherever you are, and think about how many people you could fill in that room. I'm in my office in my apartment, and I could probably fit maybe 10 people in here if you really like crowd them in. Now think about like if you were to go outside into like the parking lot or the, the field or your backyard, think of how many people you can fill in that space. It's gonna be a significant amount. It might be in the thousands, but it's probably not gonna be over 5,000 or 5,000 plus. This is an extreme number of people that Jesus was able to feed with just this few bits of resources. So how does he do it? It's this miracle, it's crazy. Five loaves of bread and two fish. So what can we take from this story? What does it even mean that Jesus did this? How he fed so many people? I think the thing that we're missing here is perspective. We're missing the perspective that you may have had stick to you in this story about how the disciples were so overwhelmed with the idea that they would have to go out and purchase things for all these people when Jesus knew that he could perform the miracle. And Jesus knew that he could use his disciples and the people in the crowd to help him do this by a simple change of perspective. You see, I think what happened here is that Jesus opened the eyes of his disciples and opened the eyes of those around him and showed them that they do indeed have the resources to feed 5,000 people. Yes, he had five loaves and two fish, but Jesus was able to gather this crowd and show them that they had enough because no matter what, Jesus is enough. And that is something we in this world can find it very difficult to remember and to take with us. And I think that is exactly where we are in this story. We are much like the disciples in this world where so much is going on, so many things could go wrong, and so many things are unknown. Just like the disciples, we're asking the same questions. How are we going to get through this? I don't think we have the ability to without any more casualty. Something like that. These are the thoughts that are going through so many families' heads. How can I stay healthy? But in the end, Jesus is enough. And I think that's where we get in the story, is in the end, Everyone is fed and there is so much left over. Friends, I ask you to change your perspective on your questions that you're asking yourself and the worries that you have and to remember that Jesus is enough for you and that it may look bleak right now and we might feel like the disciples in the story that don't have the resources, but friends, change your perspectives. See the talents and gifts that you have to share in this world and go spread that love and that grace that you know you can do. All you can do is be your best self. And when we team up together in the thousands like this crowd, we, as Jesus living in this earth as the hands and feet of Christ, are enough. And we will make it through this. So thank you for tuning in today. I hope this is able to center yourself for the rest of your week to understand that you are enough and that you are doing a lot. Even though we have worries like the disciples and we're asking Jesus all these crazy questions likely through our prayers, we have what it takes. So that is the message I want to leave you with today. A message of endurance and power so that you can go forward this week and enjoy the rest of your week and give the world your best self. So have a good one, everybody. We will be back here on Friday. Don't forget to send any questions our way as we have our discussion here on the videos on Friday with our Talk About It Friday. So keep sending those in and we will see you then. So have a good one.